Greece's unemployment rate is at 25 percent. The government is literally running out of cash. But 100 miles southeast of Athens, the party town of Mykonos is booming. It'll cost you $6,000 to stay there for one week this summer. Pim Fox is my co-anchor in the next hour. So, Pim, you've been there before, right? Long, a long time ago, before the Greek uh, debt crisis, uh, before even uh, the euro. But, I mean, what's happening in Mykonos just should be a reminder that there is still economic activity going on, that it is still a destination spot for tourists of all over the world. And of course, while they are uh, sort of pouring the free-flowing champagne, it's also relevant to note that they all pay taxes. So you would want more of this kind of activity. And when you take a look at the tourism business in Greece, it is up somewhere in, from 25 to 30 percent, depending upon the location and depending upon the market. Are we talking about tourists from Europe, within Europe, yes. or tourists from outside of Europe? Both. Um, many tourists from Germany go to Greece. Sometimes they even have second homes in Greece. Uh, also, tourism from the United States has been increasing because of the strength of the U.S. dollar sure. has prompted people to take a second look at going abroad. You know, Mykonos is clearly not in any kind of austerity mode. Uh, I'm looking no. at some of the numbers here. The bar manager at Namos, which is the most exclusive beach resort in Mykonos, uh, says that he sells 300 to 400 bottles on an average night of champagne, and it's shipped out to the yachts that line the harbor. And the Greek elite, it's not just uh, tourists from Germany or Correct. from the U.S., they're coming over as well. Well, they want to enjoy their, uh, their nation. They also want to enjoy their holiday. But, I mean, Mykonos and many of the islands uh, in Greece uh, have been known for many years sure. as, a de as a tourist destination, and they have some of the most uh, beautiful uh, beaches, the most beautiful towns, and indeed, uh, this is a way that the Greek economy can try to rebuild itself. Of course, uh, tourism, a major earner of uh, non-euro currency as well as euro currency, so they might be need a couple more Mykonos uh, have destinations. Have you gone to Athens? Yes, Athens as well. Athens, and people, you know, they, they fly typically into Athens, and then they go... And they do they the do Obligatory visits in Athens, and then they move on to the islands. That, that, that could be certainly one route, and you would have a pretty good time. And it'll be a little bit depressing to visit Athens these days as well. Well, you have to see how the vote goes if they do indeed get a vote in Parliament on any proposal deal.